You wake up in the body of a Pokemon, in the Pokemon world, and you're very confused. This is my review for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe for Nintendo Switch. This is also for the demo version of the game. And if you haven't played the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, you've been missing out big time. The series follows a dungeon crawling roguelike genre in which you must battle enemies and find your way to the dungeon objective or exit. Honestly, I was so surprised to see this announced. Uh, very glad to, as the original Red Rescue Team was a game I sunk hours of time into and I always had to play with my Game Boy Advance uh, connected into the charger because I played it at night and often fell asleep with it so I didn't want to lose my progress. <laughs> Uh, the demo for this game had me hooked. I was loving exploring the remade game from my childhood, fully exploring most floors to find the items and enemies to try stretch the demo out to its fullest. Unfortunately though, it finished just before the Skarmory mission in which you have to rescue Diglett. Uh, we'll likely just play more on my copy of Red Rescue Team in the meantime to satisfy that need to play more of the game, but this definitely left me wanting more. Uh, the new art style seemed a bit strange when I was initially looking at the game. Uh, as I played on, however, I grew to love it and the details of the dungeons and overworlds was just something I just really enjoyed. It's so nice to see some of these parts of my childhood in this game reimagined and rechanged into something that keeps up with today's standard on artwork and quality in games. Listening to the soundtrack brought tears to my eyes and warmed my heart a lot. Fantastic to hear the quality of effort and work that was put into this to remake such a fantastic game. I uh, really, really enjoying the music overall so far, especially when you're uh, walking around the main town. The main town in the game, I've been walking around and just listening to it all. I am not putting that music on mute though. I think it's great. It's something for me to find a game that I, I don't mute music to is quite hard because I get quite bored of the music, but I still really enjoyed this. Now let's talk about gameplay. The gameplay works quite well on the Switch. Uh, not a fan of the joystick though. I recommend using the D-pad just for those precise movements. Uh, not sure if that's just because of what I'm used to, but it just feels right. Although walking in the overworld, I definitely really enjoyed using the joystick around there. But when I'm in dungeons, I definitely use the D-pad. It just works so much better for the accuracy and precision needed to navigate the dungeons. When this game releases though, I will definitely leave a proper review and likely also stream it. Also in the meantime, I'm gonna make sure I get the right starter. I don't know if uh, you can actually choose your starter after you go through the quiz. I think you may have to go through the quiz again like you did back in the day on Red Rescue Team. I probably should look into that. I probably should. But I really want to use a different starter than Psyduck. I love Psyduck, but it's going to be uh, a lot easier using probably something like Torchic and someone else that can help me defeat the Trio Birds. Because the Trio Birds were something that I had massive, massive problems with growing up. Anyways, I can't wait for this game to be fully released, which is released on March 6th of 2020. So not too long, there's a few months in the way there, but it's worth the wait. In the meantime, I'm going to play my Red Rescue Team copy, probably through my GameCube player, because, you know, that's one of the best things ever. Thank you so much for watching my impression video today for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe. That's a hecking mouthful, so when I actually do review it properly, I'm going to be just calling it Rescue Team Deluxe. I think that works so much better. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and I will catch you, hopefully, either in my streams or some later videos on YouTube. Now, just a little information. I also stream on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays uh, over at the official Phantom TV. And uh, yeah, we've been playing a bit of Planet Zoo and Stardew Valley. It's been a lot of fun. Also, catch my YouTube videos always on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you later, hopefully, not too far away with getting the game or a copy of the game to review. I just love the series in general. Have a great one, guys.